name is Steven Sindoni. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast of Solving the Legend of J.C. Brown. I'd like to begin this video with surveillance photos of helicopters that have been tracking my movements. The faces of the men who have been following me are insignificant. These men and women are disposable. They are merely pawns in the game. The point I'm trying to make is either I must be close to solving the legend of J.C. Brown or there is something hidden near or around Mount Shasta that the secret government doesn't want the American people to know about. For nearly a year I had gone over all of the clues. It was my belief that Lord Cowdray and J.B. Body, alias J.C. Brown stumbled upon the basalt volcanic rock formation by accident while vacationing at the Shasta Springs Resort in Dunsmuir, California. It was now time to physically look for the clues given by J.C. Brown to the Stockton Record newspaper in 1934. Located three and a half miles north of Dunsmuir, Shasta Springs was the most famous of the resorts located in the upper Sacramento River Canyon. Trains would stop here so passengers could drink the natural springs water. The drinking of Shasta water was reported to have beneficial results and used as a remedial agent. Some passengers would disembark on the platforms and head for the incline railway which for five cents would take them to the main part of the resort located high above the tracks. It is my theory and belief that Lord Cowdray, owner of the Lord Cowdray Mining Company and J.B. Body, both geologists agree that J.B. Body would come back with three civil engineers to dig out the tunnel at a later date. As luck would have it, I was sent an email by a man who calls himself James the Truth. He shared with me a story about a man named Brad who claimed that he had found a back entrance to a tunnel that led under Mount Shasta. After reading the email, I was directed to a photo of the unusual rock formation. The photo was taken on November 28, 2008. The story that Brad told was rather remarkable. Brad claimed that he and his daughter were hiking in the ancient volcanic mountains of Dunsmuir, California, working off a heavy Thanksgiving dinner from the day before when something unusual happened. It was while they were hiking that they discussed the folklore surrounding the Mount Shasta region and the Lemurian civilization said to be living in a massive cave city within the volcanic mountain. Brad and his daughter rounded a corner and came across a rugged basalt rock face with two doors. They stopped and took photos, all the while wondering. When suddenly, a tall figure speaking with a slight British accent greeted them. Brad and his daughter asked where the man had come from, and he replied, from inside the mountain, the city of Telos. The man said that they had found one of the back entrances to Telos, and he graciously invited them in. Even though Brad and his daughter were curious, they were quite frightened, so they declined. The figure then disappeared as quickly as he had arrived, but he first swore Brad and his daughter both to secrecy, never to reveal the location of the doors to Telos. Brad concluded his statement by saying that until this time, he and his daughter considered the Lemurian civilization to be mere folklore. After reading the entire story, I jotted down all the clues given by the man known only as Brad. On the following day, I headed to Dunsmuir to find out Brad's true identity. I was able to get in contact with a longtime resident of Dunsmuir and find out Brad's true identity. Later that evening, while on the internet, I was able to find information as to where Brad was residing. I then shared this information with a friend named Larry, who was also interested in the unusual rock formation. Larry emailed Brad and was given this response. In Brad's email dated Thursday, May 28, 2009, he added that the doors indeed close off lava tunnels that go northeast towards Mount Shasta. He added that these tunnels bring glacial waters from Shasta to Dunsmuir. These same series of tunnels are also the source of Mossbray Falls north of Dunsmuir. 
Armed with this information, I was able to hike up to the area and find the unusual rock formation that I believe is where the man of the legend, J.C. Brown, claimed to have found a tunnel that spiraled downward for 11 miles that led to an underground city under Mount Shasta. From the spot of the unusual rock formation, it is approximately 11 miles just as J.C. Brown had claimed in his legend. What you'll see now are photos that were taken from the actual find. The reason the legend of J.C. Brown has remained a mystery is because this tunnel is located on private property. And it is for this reason that at this time I will not disclose the exact location until further exploration has been done and the cave and tunnel have been found. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next series of Solving the Legend of J.C. Brown.